Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Namita and I hope that you are all doing fine and are safe in your homes. Yes, we are still spending a lot of time in our homes because the COVID situation is not getting any better. And since most of us are still working from home, so we are saving out that transportation time, the commutation hours are still with us. So we have that time in our hands. That is why uh, Netflix and Prime video has become really significant these days. So I just wanted to talk about books today that how many of us are actually picking up a book to read because we are having that time now. I always uh, found it very difficult to pick up a book when the routine was regular, you know, when you have to take care of work and household chores and everything. So it was really difficult. It is not that I've given up on reading completely, but yes, I found it a little challenging and I've always been a reader. I love reading two bits. So now is the time when I'm utilizing it to read books. So if you are one of those people who is still wondering that how to read or you are still thinking about, okay, I'll pick up a book tomorrow and read and let me watch a movie today. So today I'm going to talk about the advantages of reading a book over watching a movie. Because see, we, we feel that watching a movie is an easy thing. Reading a book is not a difficult one, but yes, it does take a little bit of effort from our side. So if you are someone who is still thinking about reading and you really want to read, then let me talk about the advantages and listen to them and then you will automatically switch to your books. So coming to the first advantage, when we read a book, we visualize our own characters. You know, sometimes when we watch a movie, the characters might be a little disappointing. I mean, we, we feel that they have not justified the character or something. But this is a big advantage that when we are reading a book, the character is something that we visualize ourselves. It is up to the mark for us. We think of the character and it is never going to disappoint us. So that whole process of imagining how the character looks like, how the protagonist is and everything is on us. And that is something very amazing. Now, the second thing is that the books are always more detailed as compared to the movies. A thick book with 1,000-2,000 pages can be made into a movie of maximum two hours, two and a half hours. So how can it justify all the intricacies or all the details that are mentioned in the book? The writer has taken a lot of time in writing the book, talking about the characters, giving the background, which can never be covered up in a movie. So when you read a book, it is like a journey in itself. You will go through all the details. You will imagine everything on your own. You'll visualize everything from your own perspective and this gives you a wonderful feeling. The third thing which I find wonderful is that books are portable. At least they don't make us couch potatoes for watching a television and even if we are watching videos over the phone we are just stuck to a place or uh, sitting in front of TV screens and just lying there. Books are portable. You can take it into your garden. You can sit in your balcony, which I do most often that I just take it into my balcony. If the weather is nice, if it is not very hot, you can take them along and just enjoy the feel of the book or the story or the novel or whatever book you're reading at any place of your home. Now, the fourth one, which I think is the most significant one for everyone, is that books help to improve our vocabulary. In fact, it improves our overall language skills. If you are a reader, then it is inevitable that you will not have a good command over your language or you will not build up a wonderful vocabulary. So reading books is going to help you in developing good language skills. Okay, the fifth one is that the impact of book always lasts longer. Watching a movie, okay, we watch it, we go to a theater, we watch a movie, even if we are watching a movie at home, it is like, okay, we watched it, we talk about it, whether we liked it, whether we didn't like it, but we just forget it in, in like few days, sometimes even few hours. The books have a wonderful impact. The moment you finish a book, you know, you you feel as if a journey has ended and it just stays with you for a lifetime. So books have a long lasting impact. 
Now the sixth one is that books are more involving as compared to the movies. Movies are passive. We watch them passively. We sit in front of a TV screen or whatever screen and the movie is playing. We are doing hundreds of things along with it. Sometimes we are just scrolling through our phones and we are doing other tasks. We even take a nap or it's like not very involving but when it comes to books our mind is involved that is why the outcome is wonderful that is why it helps in developing language skills builds up vocabulary does wonders to us now the seventh one is very close to my heart see uh, there are people who are literates and there are people who are illiterate so what are the advantages that an educated person has over someone who is not educated so what's the point that i can read i can write i can you know i have gained good education what's the point if i'm not reading movie is something which even an uneducated or an illiterate person can watch but reading is a privilege that only educated one have so why not just read and get into the world of books you know it will always benefit us in one or the other way now this eighth one is something that i've experienced myself since childhood and i think this is the major reason which keeps me glued to the books till date and it is that a book opens up to a colorful world of imagination you know this this imaginary world that books uh, make you create is is beautiful you cannot compare this imaginary world with anything else and this is something so beautiful that only a reader can understand that how wonderful we feel when we are traveling through a book so i think everyone should read just to give wings to their imagination now this ninth point that i've uh, deliberately kept in the last is that something which we all know that books just gives us knowledge now watching a movie might not be that knowledgeable some movies of course are uh, theme based or they have a very good moral but books would any time even if if a book is not having a wonderful story line or you've not uh, found it very interesting then also the book is going to give you knowledge like we have talked about if nothing else it will at least help you uh, frame a sentence better you can have a wonderful vocabulary if nothing else so knowledge part is something which we cannot deny now the last point which is the 10th point is that reading books improve our focus and concentration we all know that i mean watching a movie finishing it up in 2 hours or 3 hours is nothing when we compare it to reading a book for days because it's very rare it happens that we finish up a book in one day unless it is very thin or just a few hundred pages or something only then it happens otherwise nice books we carry uh, along with ourselves for days and that is where uh, our concentration and focus comes in play and this is how the books work for our focus and concentration so if uh, you are a reader you understand what i'm saying of course you you know it but if you are someone who is considering reading or who has been uh, procrastinating reading for a long time please pick up a book now this is the most appropriate time for reading we have time in our hand and we should utilize it in a better way read and feel what i'm trying to tell right now read and feel the difference and how books can change your life That is all about this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you like such videos because I am a book lover and I can make a lot of videos on books. Please let me know and I can come up with more stuff related to books. Thank you so much for watching this video till here. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.